Tip number one, start loving rejection. I tell kids this, a kid yesterday asked me at Berkeley Music School, and he, he looked really serious. Dude, what do you do with rejection? I looked at him and said, there's no such thing as rejection. There's only projection. If they didn't like what you did, go home, make another one, and throw both of those down the thread. Do not be ashamed of yourself. Do not be ashamed of yourself. Now that's hard. Why? Because the way the world is, um, you know, um, um, social media. It, it, forget, before social media, you just had the people in the neighborhood, the bullies and the, the jealous people and all of that. You got to find a thing that makes you feel good and just continually, nonstop, every day without a paycheck doing it. And that thing will empower everything else that you have to come into. Tip two, create a superhero identity. Nowadays, I tell kids, if anybody looks at you and says you're into corny, make-believe, pretend shit, you might get in trouble, stand up on your desk in the middle of class and beat your chest like King Kong and say, you're goddamn right. Here I am <laughs> pretending to be a DJ like Flash and an MC like Melly Mel. In my own world, I said, I'm going to become, now that you understand, I was sitting in my basement going, I'm going to become the most powerful entity in the hip hop universes. Mild mannered Catholic school kid Daryl McDaniels, when he steps to that microphone, the initials of my name is the MC, but he's no longer Daryl McDaniels. He transforms into the devastating, mic controlling DMC. Then I was sitting there one day and I was sitting there, I was going, okay, Thor is the son of Odin from Asgard. He got a brother named Loki and he got a hammer. I'm Daryl McDaniels, for the, for the mic thing. I'm Daryl, I'm, I'm saying, I'm gonna take that and put it with this mic thing. I'm Daryl McDaniels from Hollis, Queens. I got a father named Byford and a brother named Alfred and I got a mic. So I'm gonna become son of Byford, brother of Al. Ben is my mother and runs my pal. It's McDaniels, not McDonald's. These rhymes are Daryl's, those burgers are Ronald's. I ran down my family tree, my mother, my father, my brother, and me. Hip hop excited me because I was like, you could tell stories about who you are over music. So my stories were gonna be written like superheroes. Tip three, be yourself, even when it scares you to death. So I'm sitting there, guess who walks in? Sarah McLaughlin. So it was, that, that, that's that lady who made the song that damn near saved my life in the Senate. Okay, D, get it together. Just get up and walk over, Sean, and tell her what her song did. So I'm walking over towards and she sees me coming. She's like, DMC, it's tricky to rock around, rock around, it's right on time, it's tricky. My Adidas, huh. So I'm talking to myself, I'm going, see, D? That's another reason not to kill yourself. Even Sarah McLachlan likes your song. So I just go up to her and I say, yo, Miss McLachlan, the name of the record is Angel. You sound like an angel. People say you're an angel, but you're not an angel to me. You're God. I listen to your record 24 hours, seven days a week when I go to the gym, this and that. Crazy. Like, I, 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 every day, I don't leave home without it, this and that. So she's looking at me with the kind of like, okay, I just wanted to say hi to your ass. <laughs> I didn't want all this, but when I finished that, she looked at me and she shook my hand. She said, thank you for telling me that, Daryl. And she said these words. That was, that's what music is supposed to do. She shakes my hand, she walks away. The song just had a vibe, an energy. And that energy, that thing that that song was, was the only thing that made me feel good. And our lives is about feeling good, not about just who we are, about just feeling good about everything it's supposed to feel right. And I do a lot of talking on mental health and stuff like that. Mentally, spiritually, emotionally, all that. If you're not feeling good about every part of your existence, none of your relationships will work out. That record was the only thing that made me feel complete. 